It's Monday, June 17th, and today, I'm just wondering if we can look back on three things last week that were very hard to watch. And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. There's been a significant development in your laundry room. Laundry detergent sheets, not dryer sheets, but the same concept. Paper thin, remarkably efficient. Just toss one into your load of clothes and voila! Sparkling clean and smelling great. And as a plus, they're hypoallergenic for those with sensitive skin. No more plastic detergent. Jugs that just wind up in trash heaps. It's easy to get your laundry detergent sheets. Just go to the link in today's podcast episode. Introducing Star Power Smart Home Solutions, where cutting edge technology meets effortless living. Control your entire home with just a tap on your smartphone. Adjust the lights, set the perfect temperature, and ensure your home is secure, all from the palm of your hand. Star Power has the experts that will transform your house into a secure smart home. Experience the ultimate solution in comfort and security for your family. Get started at GetStarPower.com. Star Power, where innovation meets home. It's impossible to forget what Tiger Woods once was. Maybe I guess you could say Jack Nicklaus was as dominant. Then maybe you go back to the years of Hogan and Nelson. But... As competitive as golf is these days, Tiger just ran roughshod over the sport. From 2005 to 2009, that five-year period, he won 31 tournaments in five years. Yes, then he dipped off. But he was back in 12, winning three, and in 13, winning five. But... Then, of course, there was the divorce and all the tawdry details of Tiger off the field. And then all those surgeries and that terrible car crash. And the U.S. Open this week, it was hard to watch Tiger. Once those laser irons were incredible, now... They aren't so incredible. They drift. Drives go right and left. There's not much consistency. And the putting, gee, Tiger was once an incredible putter. And now Tiger struggles. Now, hey, could, hey, shooting fifth, shooting 73 at the U.S. Open, that's not terribly bad on that course. But over the two days, he missed the cut by two strokes. In the last four years, Tiger Woods has played only 11 golf tournaments. In those 11 tournaments, he's missed the cut five times, withdrew from the tournament three other times, and his three finishes during the last four years, tied for 38th, tied for 45th, and 47th. I don't know if you're a fan of Tiger Woods. I'm a fan of greatness. And that man had greatness in him. He had unbelievable focus and he was unbelievably competitive. And it's, it's hard to watch him now. The only thing I can tell you is, it must be even harder to be him now. Because he remembers 
what was in Tiger Woods for all those years. He was bound to sweep past Jack Nicklaus in Majors 1. He was going to put up golf numbers that, that nobody was ever going to equal again. And now he's 48. And you watch him trudge a bit painfully from hole to hole. And you wonder if he'll ever win again. He's two years away from playing on the senior tour. Would Tiger play on the senior tour? I don't know. But if he does, I imagine he'll still be a little hard to watch. Next on the hard to watch list, the Texas Rangers offense. This weekend, they got swept in a three game series in Seattle, dropping them eight and one half games behind the Mariners right at nearing the halfway point of the season. In the series, game two, they scored four runs in the ninth inning. Well, but they were trailing seven to one going into their ninth inning. Four runs in that ninth inning. The other 26 innings of that series, Texas scored three runs. Their offense has now scored three runs or less 36 times this year, and they're 5-31 and 31 in those games. It's, it's almost impossible to explain. This was the number one offense in the American League last year. Number one in batting average. Number one in on-base percentage. Number one in slugging. And now, they... They seem to go so meekly, game after game after game. Pitching, which was supposed to be the problem this year, hasn't been the problem. The pitching's been actually pretty darn good, given all the injuries it suffered. But it is just simply hard to watch this team's offense, inning after inning after inning. And the third thing that was hard to watch last week, games two and three of the NBA final series. It was actually made worse for me because of game four. The game the Mavericks just slaughtered the Celtics. And there was Luca, happy, smiling, never complaining to the officials, simply leading his team. And yes, playing some defense. Now, that game four win is nice. They still trail the series three games to one. They play game five tonight in Boston. History says they're not going to dig themselves out of this 3-0 and hole they found themselves in. And that takes us back to those two games, games two and three. They were so winnable. Boston did not play all that well, but Dallas simply couldn't close the deal on at least one of them. And if the Mavs don't dig themselves out of this, what was a 3-0 hole, now a 3-1 hole, in the offseason, replays of games two and three are going to be even harder to watch. Today's episode brought to you by Fluent Financial, Retire Sooner, Better Lifestyle, and by Star Power, Love Where You Live. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at FanStreamSports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit follow. And every weekday, a fresh new episode of Just Wondering will be delivered right to you. And if you enjoy this podcast, please share it with a friend. Finally, should you have questions or comments, please share them with us by going to X and our address at Norm's Clubhouse. That's Just Wondering with Norm Hitzkus. And every day, I'll be just wondering about something. 
And I'm Mary Hitchkiss, and I'm just wondering too.